Hi guys, welcome to Solution Domain. This is Vikram here. Today in this video, we are going to see a simple on-demand custom workflow activity. The scenario is in accounts entity, whenever we create a new record or whenever we update the record of accounts entity, the number of words entered in account name should be counted and displayed in the facts field. This is the simple example. In the coming videos, we will see the medium and complex one. Please take a second to hit that like button and let me know if you have any queries in the comment section down below. This is the simple custom workflow activity code. The download link is given in the description. Just copy and paste this code in your class library project in Visual Studio and then you need to add the references. If you don't know how to add the references then please refer to my previous videos. Right click on your project and select properties. Just click on application. If you have created a console application then in output type you need to select class library. Next click on assigning option, tick mark the assigning the assembly, just click on the drop down and select new, here you need to type the strong file name and uncheck this protect my key file with a password and click on ok button. I am going to click on the cancel because I have already created this strong name. Right click on your project and select build. Now the build is succeeded. Again right click on the solution and choose a rebuild solution. You will see rebuild all one succeeded zero failed and zero skipped. After that right click on your project and select open folder in file explorer. Go to bin, select debug and just right click on this folder location and copy it. Next open the plugin registration tool, create a new connection to your Dynamics 365 environment. After that click on register drop down and select register new assembly or you can press ctrl a shortcut. Click on this browse button, paste the folder location over here. Next select the dll file and click on open, in my case I am going to select word count dll. Click on open button. Leave the rest as it is and you need to click on register selected plugins button. As you can see one assembly and one plugin is registered successfully click on ok button. After that go to processes in Dynamics 365 default solution. In default solution select processes and click on new button. Type the process name, select the category as workflow and select the entity. In my case, I am going to select account entity. Uncheck run this workflow in background and click on OK button. As we are creating on demand custom workflow activity, we need to check this as an on demand process option. I am going to select when record is created, when record status changes, when record field changes, my word count workflow should trigger. I am going to select the field as account name and click on OK button. Scroll down and click on add step drop down and search for custom workflow activity that you have registered in plugin registration tool. In my case it is word count. Next select that workflow. Type a name to that step. I am going to type it as words count input and click on set properties button. Here property name is input text, data type is single line of text, required. What is required? Input text is required. Input text is the required argument which we have written in our code. Value, value is input parameter. I am going to select account name as input parameter because we are going to count the number of words entered in account name, right? So we are passing account name as input parameter to our on demand custom workflow activity. Click on save and close. 
Next click on add step drop down and select update record option. I'm going to give the name as update output. I'm going to select the entity as account and click on set properties. Here in which field we want output in fax field right. So I'm going to select the fax field. The number of words entered in the account name will be counted and displayed in the fax field. Under look for select words count input. Next select word count, click on add button and then click on ok button and finally click on save and close. Now everything is done just click on save button and then click on activate button. Here you need to click on activate button to confirm. Wait it is buffering and loading. Just click on close button. As you can see here our words count workflow is activated already. But sometimes it doesn't work. So I'm going to activate it one more time. Now go back to Microsoft Dynamics 365 home page and refresh the page. I'm typing a single word and I'm going to click on save and you can see the result in fax field. See the result is one word. Krishna is one word. Next I'm going to update it with the two words and click on save button. You can see here the result is updated to two words. And this is how we create on demand custom workflow activity in Dynamics 365 using plugin registration tool. Hope you find this video helpful. Please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video. Until then be safe and take care.